Hi uh, guys, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is probably going to be a relatively short video, but it seems like a couple of people may not know how to do this, which perfectly fine. By the end of this video, you are going to know how to do it. And what it is, is using alternative fonts in Text Mesh Pro. And I've seen quite a few people when they're showing demos on Facebook and things like that, that the UI seems to have this generic default Text Mesh Pro font, which again is perfectly fine, but it can actually add a lot more depth into your game by using custom fonts. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how you can import your own custom fonts and use them in Text Mesh Pro. So there's two ways, the hard way and the easy way. The hard way being you create your own font files and import them that way. That's extremely time consuming and I've never done it myself. So I'm not going to be showing you how to do that. The way that I'm going to show you is this website right here, 1001 Fonts. This is a fantastic website and the reason it's fantastic is we can actually filter on free to use commercial fonts, which is this icon right here. If we disable that, we get every font on the website but as we see here, this font, free for personal use. You'd have to buy this if you wanted to use it in your game. Whereas if we turn on free for commercial, every font that you see down here has the license to be used in any commercial entity. For example, your game. So let's go in and find a font. I'm going to search for pixel. And let's pick a nice pixely font. This one looks good. We click on... Uh, font, click download, and this is going to download a zip file. We can extract this, close that one off, close that down, and where are we? There. So now we see we have a true type font file, which is a TTF, and this is a standard font. I'm showing you all this, and it's on my second monitor. We've expanded this, and we see we have this pixel font, which is a true type font file. So we can go ahead and drag and drop that anywhere in our project. But the problem is, if we actually select our text and try and drag and drop our pixel font into the font asset, we can't do it. And the reason for that is TextMesh Pro expects something called an SDF format, whereas ours is the TTF. And I'm going to assume this is where most people give up and use the default font. But it's really simple to get around. If we select our font, right-click, Create, TextMesh Pro, and then Font Asset, what that's going to do, that's going to create an SDF version of our pixel font. So we can go ahead and drag that into our text asset. And that is the ugliest lowercase font I have ever seen. Looks a little bit better in uppercase, but there we have it. It's as simple as that. And you can add in as many fonts as you like. And all you need to do is select the Text Mesh Pro element that you want that to be associated with. And drag that SDF version of the font into the font asset input and that's it told you it was going to be short guys but i hope it's actually been of use for you so i'll see you again soon thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow us on facebook and instagram for more bite-sized unity hints and tips